Greetings! I am Herbert Erbaderp, and in these special order boxes here I have a pair of Soviet KV-5 heavy tanks. The boxes are pretty boring, so let's have a look inside. We can see this kit comprises a resin hull and turret with metal tracks, guns, and hatches. There are not a lot of components, so this should be quite an easy build. The resin parts are cast fairly neatly and are well enough detailed. Of course, this tank was never built, so there's no way to know how accurate it is compared to the prototype, but I think it looks good. The metal tracks are also pretty nicely done, though of course they don't compare to the likes of Battlefront's plastic tracks. Unfortunately, the gun was bent, otherwise it's not bad. The guns on the small turrets were also bent. This is a little bit more annoying than the main gun being bent. These could be broken quite easily. Also included is this commander, which isn't very nicely cast, and this plain hatch. Time to magnetize. The hull has a convenient recess for this. As always, test fit first and then glue the magnets in, making sure to get the magnet polarity correct. Now to add the tracks. They don't have guides to ensure correct fitting, just simple markings to indicate left or right and which way is forwards. The first step is to test fit the tracks and then, if needed, file the tracks to fit. Mine only required a small amount of filing, which is unusual for metal tracks. Then glue the tracks on using super glue. These have been the most hassle-free metal tracks I've seen for a while. Now to fix these machine gun turrets. These are easy enough to fix, if a little bit annoying. Just very carefully bend the guns back into position as straight as possible. Do it slowly and gently. Breaking these would be a huge pain in the ass to fix. Then file down the mould lines around the edge of the turret. The next step, logically, is to glue the turrets into their positions on the hull and turret. You could magnetise these, but I don't see much of a reason to do that myself. Next, add this plain hatch here. I was surprised to find this one required no cleanup at all. Finally, it's time to straighten and attach the gun. Firstly, I gently bend it with my fingers. Then, I roll it on a hard, flat surface. Once I'm satisfied with it, I file down the mould lines. It can then be glued in. Be sure the gun is mounted straight, and then you're done! This model is huge. Look at it compared to the KV-2. How about the ship-sized TOG-2? <laughs> glorious. I'm really pleased with this kit. It's much better than the other resin and metal models from Battlefront that I've built lately. It was simple and quick to build. The parts, aside from the bent guns, were all nice and went together very easily. I really enjoy the KV-5, even though it never existed in real life. It's a huge, ridiculous steel monster. It's one of my favourite tanks in World of Tanks, especially in Platoons. I will link a relevant video here. I don't think I will ever actually be able to play this in a regular game of Flames of War, but it does fit nicely into my collection of interesting and odd tanks, and that was enough of a reason for me to buy them. I don't have any immediate plans to paint these tanks, but it will get done one day, so stay tuned for that video. I hope this has been interesting or helpful for you. If you've got any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and of course subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching, farewell.